Back to the Talking Hedge. I'm Josh Kincaid, Capital Markets Analyst and host of your Cannabis Business Podcast. Today we're going to talk about New Mexico lawmakers approving a potential $350 million recreational market. Uh, this report from MJ Business Daily going into Mexico being the second state to legalize in like 48 hours. To talk about this article is Katrina Gogowski, angel investor and attorney. Katrina, thanks for being on the Talking Hedge. Thanks, Josh. All right. So New York legalized this week, New Mexico, uh, you know, just just yesterday. And so um, $350 million, not a whole lot. But then again, if you've been to Taos or um, what's that other teeny little area? <laughs> what's the capital? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Albuquerque is really small. Taos is really teeny. Um, really, really small. So that's probably why it's only $350 million recreational market is because there's a lot of land, not a whole lot of people. It'd be like um, Wyoming or something like that. Population wise, you're right, Josh. It's not a very large population, but it's more important that yet another state has fallen. Uh, and with New York, of course, huge news, uh, but New Mexico is just as important for the dominoes falling as New York. Uh, New York gets all the focus, but we need all the, the, the middle flyover states to uh, legalize as well. Well, we need the, the surrounding uh, states of Texas to get some of those residents to, to cross the state like they did from Portland to, into Washington and Idaho into Washington and everywhere else. So it's happening in Chicago too with some of those ridiculous numbers of $108 on average, something like $113 per purchase in, in Illinois. A lot of that coming from out of state and then hoarding and a, a, a few reasons, right? Um, so it'll be interesting to see how many Texas plates we see kind of coming over and buying that, putting pressure on uh, the politicians in Texas to keep uh, or to, to get some of that tax revenue rather. So that'll be definitely interesting to see kind of what happens there. Um, but yeah, another state in the South um, is is good for, I think that's going to be 34% of the country is now recreation, which is insane. So we're over a third, you know, asking the question, at what point are we going to go federally legal? <laughs> uh, I think we're going to be federally legal by default because there's going to be three states that refuse to... Uh, to legalize cannabis, and they'll they'll be the ones losing out on the on the tax uh, revenue that everybody desperately needs right now, Josh. Uh, so yay for New Mexico! They're getting buried by New York in the news cycle, but here at the Talking Hedge, we care about every single state, including New Mexico. That's right. Got to band together. Go uh, go legal, legalize instead of regulated, right? We all say that they legalize, but it's really a regulated market until the feds legalize it. So uh, bound to happen, probably not in the next three years. I think it's going to be after this administration or after, you know, this term, whatever you want to call it. Definitely don't see it happening in the next three years. However, you'll just have to come back to the talking hedge and find out. All right. I want to thank my guest, Katrina Glogowski, angel investor and attorney. Thanks again for being on the talking hedge. Thanks, Josh. All right, I'm Josh Kincaid. This is The Talking Hedge. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, or don't, and I'm out. Don't forget to smash that like button on your way out and check out these other videos that we've got.